Judaic studies is taught in the Judaic language, which is Ivrit. So it's Ivrit be Ivrit. And the way you get to practice it, and some, some people might say, well, you know, what if I don't know Hebrew? Well, we use actions a lot of times. We use a lot of actions to reinforce their understanding of words that they might be familiar with, but haven't mastered, or even newly introduced words or, or keywords or key phrases. Judaic studies at Heschel, at least in grade four and upwards, uh, starts really building the foundation. Um, so for instance, um, as they're learning Humash, uh, in grade four, they're taught and they learn together about the trope system, which is the cantillation of the Torah. So even though most students learn this for their bar mitzvah or for their bat mitzvah, uh, they're actually starting in grade four to learn it for intrinsic reasons. For in intrinsic reasons. Um, so they'll learn about the mercha, the tipecha, when do we end a pasuk, how do we split up a pasuk, not only for how to sing it, but also um, how to learn it. Really, when you divide a pasuk and you see what signs um, sort of uh, help me understand the pasuk better, how I can break it down, um, that's really what we're, what we're going for in grade four. Uh, and then, of course, in grade six, um, they're introduced to the subject of Mishnah, which is um, the beginning or the beginnings of the oral Torah. Until now, they've been learning the written Torah, the Chumash, and now they're learning Mishnah. In grade six, they have a Sukkah project where students learn sort of the framework, the systems and the rules which enable us to, to build different types of Sukkot. And then once they're given those rules and once they learn those rules, they become very creative and they build their own Sukkah. Of course, it's not a real Sukkah. It's a, a model Sukkah, but everything from a circular Sukkah to a Sukkah that looks more like a pyramid. And what's so beautiful about that is that Judaic studies is not only Judaic studies, it's Judaic studies meets math. Judaic studies meets civilizations. And then that gets integrated with visual arts because it's our art teachers who are really sitting down with them and apply the concept that they learned in Mishnah and in math, and they're able to create their own Sukkot. So that's just one of many examples. So in grade eight, they're learning and focusing on human rights issues around the world. Um, in language arts, uh, they study, um, for instance, Romeo and Juliet, uh, and the idea of the human life and, uh, and, and human rights, um, the right to choose, that's integrated in Talmud as well as in Chumash, where they learn about different issues uh, affecting the world with human rights. So what we do is that we learn the tractate of Sanhedrin, and then later the tractate of Baba Mitzia, in which we talk about the importance of everyone's life and how everyone's life is so special. We might all be equal, but we are all unique. We all have something else to bring to the table, to the forefront. And what the students end up doing is really researching many human rights issues around the world. And they connect it to passages in the Talmud. They connect it to passages in the Humash. They connect it to passages in the Vi'im. And with that, they're able to, again, integrate everything that they've learned throughout all these years, sort of gets acclimated in, in, in grade eight as a, as a human rights project. And then as they graduate, they take many passages which they learned in Talmud and their graduation speech is in fact a human rights speech that they talk about. We don't have a graduation speech, we have more of a human rights speech that's based a lot on the human rights issues explored in Talmud and in other Judaic subjects.